So recently I posted this picture on Instagram. And the feedback was pretty crazy. Everybody wanted to learn how to do it. So today, we're gonna teach you guys how to do cinemagraphs the easy way. Okay, so you're gonna need two pieces of equipment to make this happen. One, obviously your camera, and two, a solid tripod. Now my go-to is a Manfrotto. I'll link one in the description below. Super affordable, great build quality, and honestly, Christmas is right around the corner. You might as well just treat yourself to an early Christmas present. Now let's get to making this thing. All right, first things first, set your scene. Set up your camera on the tripod and frame your shot because once you frame the shot, you can't move your camera. All right, for this example, what I'm gonna do is have myself floating in the background and then in a separate video, I'm gonna have one of my dogs walk through the frame. After that, I'll combine the two pieces of footage and you'll get your cinemagraph. Now, one thing a lot of tutorials don't tell you about cinemagraphs is that you need two moving elements in order for it to make sense. So for example, if you have a car parked and a car drives by in the background, but the parked car isn't moving, it just looks like video footage. Here's a good example of what not to do with a cinemagraph. All right, so step one is we're gonna get the frozen part of our cinemagraph, and that's gonna be me levitating on the stool. Now, once I set the shot and the way I want it, set the focus on your camera to manual so that even in the video, the focus doesn't change, because if it does, it'll affect the way your cinemagraph looks, because not only the focus of the camera will change, but the background and the depth of field will all change as well, and it'll mess it up. Manual focus. All right, once you've got your frozen aspect, then you're gonna switch over to video. And now we're gonna film our, our moving part. Excuse me while I go get my helper. You might recognize her from a previous video. All right, listen, come here, come here. Your job is simple. You sit over there, and when I say come, you come. I'll give you a treat if you do. Do not screw it up. Come here, come here, come here. Stay. 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 No, no. Oh my god. Sit down, I said. Sit. Stay. Stay. Alright. Come here, Mia. Alright. We have the footage. Let's take it into Photoshop and Premiere to finish this thing up. All right, let's get started. All right, we're gonna start by opening up Premiere and creating a new sequence. Just hit Command N. You're gonna go to digital SLR, 1080p, 24 frames a second, because that's what we recorded it in. And you are gonna import your footage, Command I. So I believe it's this one. Just hit Import, and then you're gonna drag that onto the timeline. And once you've dragged it onto the timeline, you are going to find the part where you want the motion. So it's right about here. I'm going to crop that in to the front. And here she comes. There she goes. And we're going to stop it right there. So we're going to hit W to cut it there. So here's what our clip looks like, the moving part of the, the clip anyway. What you're gonna do next is find the part of the clip where the motion, so in this case, the dog, is the highest in the frame. So right about here, you can see her ear is like the highest, at the highest point that it reaches. So we're gonna take a screenshot of this right here and just save it on the desktop. We'll call it the uh, screenshot, boom. All right, from here, we're gonna take that screenshot into Photoshop and we're gonna take the frozen part of the photo and add that to the picture, so. Okay, so we are gonna open our raw file and we're not actually gonna to touch any of the settings right now. We're just gonna open it up in Photoshop 
And then the next thing we're going to do is hit Command or Control O and open up our Mia screenshot. So this frame right here is 1920 by 1080. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our floating part, copy that, paste it into the frame. And here's the tricky part, but it's not that bad. You have to scale your image down to fit your 1920 by 1080. So what I like to do is set it to about 30% and move it and just scale it down until the static parts of both the video screenshot and your frozen frame line up. Once they line up, our job is pretty easy from there. So once you've lined up the two and you don't really notice a difference between the, the background and the foreground, you're gonna bring the opacity back up to 100%. And here's the easy part. By adding a layer mask and using the brush tool, you're gonna make a nice big soft brush and just erase away anything that would be over the dog. So we'll get rid of all that. By erasing all that, she can run through the frame and you've got frozen motion with actual motion and it's gonna look dope. Now in this case, I wanna appear like I'm floating, so what I'm gonna do is Photoshop out the stool. All right, once you're happy with your photo in Photoshop, you're gonna remove or hide the background layer, the screenshot, and you're gonna save that new picture as a PNG. It should have some nice soft edges that you won't notice once you overlay it onto your video. All right, now we're back in Premiere. We're gonna hit Command I, and we're gonna find our floating PNG and import it. Drag it onto the timeline above the layer. Now you can see it lines up nicely, and you've got frozenness. Add any like finishing touches or whatever you might want to add, like, I don't know, color grading, whatever, and boom, cinemagraph. Now this was just a stupid little example to show you guys the fundamentals, and I'm sure you guys can create some way cooler cinemagraphs, and trust me, I want to see them, so tag me on Instagram, at underscore dmcreative. Now if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like... Listen, you stuck in here for this long, you might as well just like and subscribe the video. I know we'd both appreciate it. And subscribe. Wait, did you just did yeah. you just cinemagraph me so that you could do the outro? Dick. <laughs>